All right, so here we are with the, with the phase two of our short game uh, tips, basically. Again, so the next breakdown that people get is they get a lot of wrist activity. And again, it also can lead to some sculling effects. And so what I want to do is show you what I like to do to practice with and what I teach with. So you take basically any alignment rod, stick it down into the butt end of the golf club so you create an extended period or an extended piece, if you will. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work on using our body to pivot and to keep the hands quiet. So if we hinge too much and unhinge too early, we're going to hit ourselves in the rib cage with this thing. So in order to avoid that, we need to basically do have a little less wrist activity and then, and then allow our hips and our body to pivot through the impact zone. And you'll notice that this won't hit me. So I'm going to go ahead and hit one there, showing you that technique. So again, here's the bad technique. Bad technique hits you in the ribs. Good technique. We have a little hip rotation, a little torso rotation. We pivot through, maintain the angle, and we get clean contact. There's your tip for the week.